<sighs> so wow, today was a roller coaster. Um, roller coaster of emotions and thoughts. Sleeping four hours. Oh God, it chokes me up. It's like my brain is temporarily let out of prison for a day. It's like my brain is out of jail for, for a day. It's crazy. It, my God, you know. It's terrifying to go back tomorrow if I only sleep three hours a night. I can't believe I'm tolerating, you know, the hell that I'm living. I forget who this was. Uh, a professional, um, somebody from the medical community said to me, I can't remember who it was. I'm racking my brains. Like, very few people really understand how bad this is to live this way. You know, like how, 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 how it's hell, how it's hard to be alive. That it's like physical and mental torture to not be sleeping. You're... I mean, uh, like, literally, the objective every day is to not end it, to 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 try to keep myself safe, um, to not go near anything, anything online or any anything that's going to push me over the edge, like a family, you know, making some horrible remarks to me or the furnace quitting last week, anything, you're sleeping one or two or three hours only a night, every night, 365 days a year, like literally anything could push me over the edge. I could get a letter in the mail or I could get a phone call. I often wonder, my mom's elderly, I often wonder, you know, if that phone call comes someday or you know if the furnace quits again or i'm i'm so high risk and i because of not sleeping I, it's not a psych issue psych drugs are not going to help i can't breathe at night um psych drugs make it worse sleeping pills make it worse uh this like most medical professionals don't understand the the reality of the situation this is a like most doctors can't understand that my mood is is directly from the lack of sleep but whoever it was i'm trying to think i think it was a doctor i can't remember Within the past few months, they, I don't know who it was, they said to me, must be, they said, I don't mean this in a derogatory way at all. It must be really hard even to be kind to people, even to tolerate anybody in that condition. And I said, absolutely, it is. It's hard to tolerate be around people it's hard to not rip people's heads off it's you know it this is hell i appreciated that they understood you know i remember like 30 years ago um A couple times at work with friends at work like we were so tired because we were out partying all night and and how hard that was to to get through a day's work 
and like really it was really really hard i mean you know you don't want to go and now i'm living this you know you don't want to go near people you well you're lonely but you have to be careful who you're you're around if if they're challenging you or uh um you know you know what i mean like someone in my family making a, a horrible comment. I don't have anything to do with them. Nothing. Rarely do I have, but men, some of them have made some mean, ignorant comments. If I wasn't aware at how, how high risk, how, you know, if I wasn't always aware that I have to take care of myself, I have to talk myself through stuff, you know, just even a bad triggering comment from a family member is enough to push me over the edge you know it was you know I'm really sick uh, my nervous system is shaking my nerve damage is bad it's I got the dishes done the dishes can go for months and months at a time the dishes have even gone for two years, one year, not be washed. I got all the dishes done, a huge job, and it's so hard for me to stand up. It's hard for me to, to carry my body weight. It's hard for me to stand in one spot with the nerve damage. It's like my body weighs a thousand pounds. I can barely stand for any length of time and I have to I keep going back and forth to my chair and sitting down and having problems breathing I don't know what what's taking my breath away and pain from my teeth but I'm surprised how bad the nerve damage is right now and it was physically a rough day, but man, I felt normal today. Like, uh, with four hours of sleep, my brain works. I, I don't have the physical energy. I, I'm not well enough, but the organizational part of my brain is working, which is just wonderful. And I just look at everything. Like there's a million things you know, sleeping one or two or three hours a night, I have to overlook everything it, because there's a million things and I can't do any of it. I have to just put my blinders on and eventually you don't even see it anymore, right? The minute I sleep four hours, I see it all. Like there's places in this house, they're covered with kitchen grime and grease and a layer of dust on top of that and stuff that hasn't been dusted for a couple years the, the house is I used to feel bad I don't I'm ill if I started sleeping I would be cleaning every day like my brain can't work without sleep so it's amazing to have that on for four hours it's also sad it's also so emotional, you know? It's hard to believe I've gotten this far. Um, my doctor dropped me, ghosted me, retired. I have no doctor now. There's no one taking patients. Um, it's scary. Because now there's no hope. Uh, I, I, I'm refused care with the ENT and with the sleep uh, center here. They've refused me care. Uh, it's all through gaslighting and referring you to death. Referrals. No, blah, blah, blah. No, we won't take her, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm at, I have to get well. 
a miracle has to happen here or I have to uh, have a financial mi miracle and travel, tra travel for medical care or it just ends. So hopefully, or you know, or miraculously, I I start to get well. I think this is no, it's it's not. I was gonna say I think this is the first time I realistically know not to get my hopes up that tomorrow will be at least four hours as well. And even as I'm saying that, I know it's I. Can't convince myself it's not going to happen again. Like I, I can't not assume. I, I can't. Like the hope is so huge. I can't imagine waking up tomorrow having only slept three hours. The hope is so huge. I couldn't if I wanted to. I couldn't tell myself. Don't depend on it. You're probably going to only sleep three hours. I can't not get my hopes up. Even though history has proved that I, I never sleep two nights in a row for four hours. Anyways. You know what happens every time I have a night of four hours? I don't want to go to bed because I don't want it to end. I look around constantly, constantly. At, at a mil There's a million jobs to be done here. And I just can't keep going. I got a little bit done, but not much. A load of laundry. Dishes was huge. A couple other tiny things. It, not even a dent in any in any of all this work. But... My body's too sick, the nerve damage and stuff, and just the lack of sleep really has done, done a lot of, uh, not just that, it's not just the lack of sleep, all the damage that happened with the benzo withdrawal. And whenever I get four hours of sleep, I'm way lonelier because I feel better and I feel chatty and I want to talk to people and I want to hang out with people and I've got no options. I've lost everybody. Don't have a car to go anywhere. I think I've got a sinus infection. My teeth are infected. The pain comes and goes in waves. Anyways, I hope everyone's doing okay out there.